The Ravens fired the wrong coach. I'm so mad. We fired our defensive coordinator. Our offensive coordinator is the one that needed to go. What's up guys, Shane here from House of Cards TCG and I have a deck profile I'm super excited about. It's a brand new version, I'm sure you've seen it around. It is Sword Soul Tenyi with the Deskbot, Hulk, Aurardon combo. Um, it's a really, really fun interaction. It gives you a really good backup play. Um, and if they hand trap you at the wrong points, you just absolutely punish them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Rolling through the snow. Let's go. Look at all that mail. Look at all them cards. Look at all them cards. Does he ever have to walk up to your thing and set Oh, let's go. Oh, there's a whole stack of cards. Let's go. It's Yu-Gi-Oh day, baby. Let's go. House of Cards. TCG. So first thing is the Tenny engine. I'm maxing out on all the Tenny. So three Adhara, three Vashuda, three Ashina. I just want to see them all. I mean, these get you into your Sword Soul engine. You can make a Grandmaster with these. You can make Baxia going second, super strong. Um, you can make Baxia going first, getting into your Chao Fang, lock them out of Nib, Gamma, Valor. Um, locking them out of Lights is pretty good. Um, and then three Vessel. I don't know, I was thinking back, why do we ever go away from Vessel? I think people thought Circle was going to be better, and it was better when everyone was just imperming and veiling your Moe, which, you know, stops you. But um, not really happening as much anymore. So, I mean, hand traps are just not as good this format. So, um, or at least those hand traps. So Vessel is just really strong. Um, Circle's a neg one, I don't like Circle. I know it does dodge. You know, a lot of cards can help you play under Mystic Mind, that kind of thing. But if you're going to a big tournament, I feel like Circle, just being a neg one, you need as much card advantage as you can, and Vessel accomplishes that. Um, there's also some really good combos you can do with Vessel um, and the Desk Bot. And then we'll go into the Sword Souls. Three Emergence, obvious. These are obvious ratios. Three Mo Yi, three Long Mon. These cards you, you just want to see. Uh, three Ecclesia. Again, consistency. Uh, what what makes this deck so good is the consistency. It's rare that you brick. Um, other decks are trying to do too much, playing too many bricks. Um, and when you play bricks, you draw them sometimes. I know. Who would have guessed? Uh, with not many bricks in the deck, you don't draw them. Three Taya, one Blackout. Um, and then we'll go into our kind of flex spots where the hand traps would be. Um, we're playing three Droplet. It's a god card, this format. You just... You have to have it. Going first, um, dodges skill drain. Uh, well, I guess that wouldn't really matter going first, but going second. Um, it can dodge things, though, um, and it helps break boards. You just need it. And it stops the scythe. So scythe is going to be rampant in this format. So if you can have a droplet or a chalice, playing three chalice, three droplet, you can stop the scythe from coming out. Um, next, we're going to do... Three Lancia. I feel like Lancia is the best hand trap of the format. It stops Virtual World, stops PK, stops Invoked. Um, just really good. It stops all the 10 E cards as well. I really like Lancia a lot. It has very few matchups where it's just dead. Um, it's pretty good against Eldritch even. So I like Lancia a lot. Um, and then Three Ash. Um, three Ash can stop the. It just hits. You know, hits a lot of decks obviously, but it can also stop the Brave Token Engine. Uh, and then one Desires, one Desk Bot. So again, very few bricks in the deck. It's really consistent. Um, so let's get into the extra deck. Okay, so three Monk. Some people cut this down to two to make room. And it comes up so much that you need the third um, in the grind game. So I left it at three. Um, one Shaman. Uh, comes up sometimes that you want to bring out, you know, you get you get stopped and you need to revive uh, a Sword Soul monster from the graveyard. Um, be careful with that restriction, though. You can only activate extra deck monsters um, that are tenies. So that locks you out of basically all of them except for your uh, Draco Berserker. Um, but still good. Good card. And then it has the effect when um, you declare an attack with a non-effect monster, you, you can pop one. And then we got... Halky Fibrex and Aurora Dawn. 
some really cool combos. I'm going to show you what, what it can do. Um, it, like I said, it's, it's basically a backup play, but really, really good backup play that can wind up being stronger. You don't want to force it. Uh, if you force it, you're, you get stopped by, um, an Ash, Valor, Impermal, and the Hauke Fibrex. So it's better to bait out those negations first and then go into this if you have to. If not, I mean, I just played Tyler uh, against his Brave Virtual World. I didn't go into these a single time and I still 2 0 him easily. So uh, you don't always need it. You just don't. Uh, then the Synchros, Double Baxia, and a Yazi. So Baxia um, it enables a lot of combos. It's ridiculous going second. Shuffle two back into the deck is just broken. Um, and then going first, you can pop one and then special summon a level four lower from your grave, which is big. Um, Yazi's really good. You can go into that with the desk bot combo. Again, I'm going to show it to you. Um, you can use the Aurordon to pop the Yazi to special summon a worm from your deck. Really strong. Uh, and then Chao Fang. You can go into Chao Fang off of Baxia and Edhara, and that locks them out of, of um, light monster effects, which is Zeus a good one? Uh, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, obvious two Grandmaster. You just need two. It does come up. Not as much as you would think, but it does come up. One Draco Berserker. Uh, underrated card, being able to banish a monster effect when they activate it. It actually comes up a lot. Um, and sometimes you get locked into Worms only with the Ashna, and you can make a, a Draco Berserker when there wouldn't otherwise be good options. One Baron, uh, one Chinging. These cards don't need to be explained. And let's go into the side deck, and I'm going to explain why I chose these cards. Droll is really good into the um, Brave Token engine. Um, they have to search through it, so if you can stun them out from searching the rest of the turn, that can sometimes make a big impact. Um, I like Droll. It's kind of like a flex spot within this side deck where the other cards are more impactful, but this one, I just had extra room and I feel like Droll's good. Uh, three Gamma and the one Driver. Gamma's just really good. I side this in going second when my opponent activates a monster effect. I mean, it's so generic. Activate a monster effect, negate and destroy. That's big. Um, and a lot of times you wouldn't think this, but negating, if you time it right, negating the right monster effect and destroying it can um, maybe not end their turn, sometimes end their turn, but at least stun them out to a point where they're not doing much. And then their end board is much more manageable. Three Cyclone. Um, I like Cyclone over Twin Twisters because we want to stop getting scythe locked. Scythe, like, it's just a theme throughout this deck. We want not to get scythe locked. Um, we get scythe locked, we lose. So we don't want to lose. <laughs> um, three Cosmic, you hit the scythe, you don't get scythe locked. A lot of times this deck is so good at breaking boards, you can just naturally break the board if you're not locked out of the extra deck. Uh, one red reboot, this is good um, versus cards like uh, Dimensional Barrier versus trap decks um so a lot of times you just rather have this people are siding in cards um going first like judgment strike uh floodgates red reboot stops them same with cosmic one pancreatops again i just had an extra spot um i love pancreatops going siding in and going second just being able to sometimes you know attack and then pop just a really good card and here is kind of a spicy pick Three summon limit. People don't expect this. And if you side this in when you're going first, sometimes you can slap them with a summon limit and they've summoned twice and they can't summon anymore. So really good card. Um, plays well into the, the Brave engine. Um, I like it. Let's show you some combos. So let's go... Okay, so I'm going to show you what this deck can do uh, just with an Ashina and a Vessel. These are just, you know, dead cards. Be pretty cool to draw them all going first. <laughs> you have full combo, you set three Chalice, you might be, <laughs> might be able to live through that. Um, so obviously first we activate the Ashina in hand, summons itself, and then we go into our Monk.
Next, we activate the vessel. Vessel allows us to dump a worm and add a tenyi since we control a non effect monster. Uh, so let's go ahead and dump a moe. And let's add our Adora. And from there, um, let's. So technically, we'd probably activate Ashina. That would just get us. Um, well, first thing we would do, you activate the Adora, and then from there you can activate the Ashina. And let's say that they ash that, because that's a good spot to ash. It stops you from getting into a, a your Synchro 8. So let's say they ash that. So we're playing through one interruption. At this point, we're going to go into our Hockey Fibrex. Activate Hawk Effect. And that brings out our desk file. Then we're going to turn these two into our Aurorodon. Then we're going to get Aurorodon effect. To bring out three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. So, go one. Let's see if we have any tokens laying around. Now we'll just use blankets. So these are level three wind. And also, we can't link someone for the rest of the turn, which doesn't matter. Um, and then we trigger the despot to bring itself back up. And we turn... Uh, so these are... We go into our Yazi. So summon the Yazi. Activate Mecha Phantom Beast Rardon. Pop itself. Pop the Yazi. The Yazi summons a uh, worm from the deck in defense position. So we'll go into our Taya. Activate Taya effect. Banish our Mogi, that's important because we want to add it back with the Adara. And it brings out a token. So then we'll activate Otter Effect to add back the Mogi. And we can go into we can go into our so a couple different lines you can do here. You can go into your Baxia or you can go into your Shishao. So, um, probably going to do the she shall here. She shall effect, uh, chain link one, chain link two, Taya. So Taya's going to dump. Dump the Adhara. And we're going to add... Well, let's add blackout. There's probably some different combos you can do, and you guys all have to play around with this, but if you add the long one instead of the blackout, but giving yourself, I always prioritize the blackout. Giving yourself a pop two is just always really good. Some people are not adding this, and I almost always add it off Shisho. It's just really good to be able to pop two. It almost guarantees you survive to the next turn. So from there, we, we haven't normal summoned. So from there, we normal summon the Moe Reveal Blackout. Go into our Sword Soul token, and we can turn these two into our Baxia. We get Moe effect, random draw, emergence, good card. That enables a lot, actually. 
Um, and then Baxi effect, we pop the token. Bring back out the Edhara. And then we can go into our Chow Fang. So with two cards, we have locked them out of light monster effects. We have a targeted negation. Um, this is the random card we drew off of Moyi. So, you know, there's still other things you can do with that. We have the blackout set, and then we have three other cards in hand. So just that one being able to play with, and we played through an Ash. So just being able to play through that, we um, that just shows how strong the Arardon and Halky Fibrax combo is. It's just so good be able to put up this kind of board um, under an ash. Uh, we could have played through other, you know, other cards as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know down below what you think of the combo line. Let me know if there's anything I could have done more optimally. I, we're always happy to hear. We're really looking to get to 2,000 subscribers, so make sure to like and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. It means a lot to us. And Shane from House of Cards TCG signing out. Let's go! House of Cards. TCG.